Hey there, amazing people. I'm thrilled to have you here today. Welcome to our video on Panamanian literature. We're thrilled to have you here. Panamanian literature comprises the whole of literary works written in Panama. A first literature relating to Panama can be dated to 1535, with a modern literary movement appearing from the mid-19th century onwards. In the following segment, we'll be examining early literature in greater detail. Panamanian historian and essayist Rodrigo Min 1912-1996 cites Gonzalo Fernandez de Oviedo y Valdez as being the author of the first Panamanian literary work, the story of a character named Andrea de la Roca, which was published as part of the Historia General y Natural de los Indias 1535. The first literature from Panamanian-born authors comes from the 17th century with the title of Lanto de Panama la Mert de Don Enrique Enriquez crying from Panama at the death of Don Enrique Enriquez. Although this anthology was formed during the colony, most of the poems in it were written by authors born in Panama. A modern literary movement appeared in Panama from the mid-19th century onwards. Now, let's delve into the intricacies of during the colony and explore its various aspects. Rodrigo Mir in his Itinerario de la Pocha en Panam Poetry Itinerary in Panama talks about various Spanish authors, Mateo Rosas de Aquindo, author of an autobiographic romance, Juan de Miramontes y Zuzola, author of Armas Antarcticas Antarctic Weapons, Juan de Paramo y Cepeda, author of Alterations del Daril Daril Alterations, and others. Also, in this period arose the author of La Politica del Mundo World Politics, Victor de la Guardia y Ola. La Politica del Mundo is a stage play that was performed for the first time in 1809. The importance of Victor de la Guardia y Ola is that he was born in Panama, contrary to others that came from Spain and, for this reason, for a while he was considered the first Panamanian poet. However, the discovery of some manuscripts which come from the 17th century caused the revision of this idea, because the first reference from this period which indicates a written production by Panamanian authors in other words, born in Panama dates from 1638 and it is an anthology called Lanto de Panama la Mert de Don Enrique Enriquez crying from Panama at the death of Don Enrique Enriquez. This anthology group's works written for the death of Enrique Enriquez, governor of Panama. It was edited for the first time in Madrid 1642 and its author was Mateo Ribera Panamanian. Also he wrote many poems in this work. Although most of Lanto de Panam's poems were written by Panamanians, it has many works written by Spanish authors. This discovery was accomplished by the Spanish diplomat Antonio Serrano de Haro, who also studied these manuscripts. A new version of this anthology was published at 1984 in a combined job between the Universidad de Panam and the Instituto de Cultura Hispanica. This discovery confirms, in fact, that the first Panamanian literary manifestations found until now come from the 17th century. In the following segment, we'll be examining Romanticism in greater detail. Panama was not isolated from revolutionary movements which were seeking the independence of colonies from Spain. The drive for independence was accomplished with the independence of Panama from Spain on November 28, 1821. As in other colonies, Panamanian Romanticism was related to, and influenced by, libertarian and nationalist notions. Much of the literature of the period was produced by amateur authors, professional authors remained few. Among the first Romantic Panamanian poets were Manuel Mariola and Tums Mir Rubini, followed by José Mara Ullman, Gil Collinge, Tums Martin Follett, José Dolores Uriola, Amelia Denis de Cosa, Manuel José Perez, Geronimo de la Osa, Federico Escobar and Rodolfo Gachado. Romantic poetry, tinged with notions of nationalism, would be the main theme in Panamanian poetic works until the mid-20th century when avant-garde poetry arrived in Panama. Now, let's redirect our focus towards modernism and discover its significance in our narrative. In 1903, Panama separated from Colombia, this time saw the peak of modernism in Hispanic literature. The first modernist was Doro Herrera, friend and follower of Robin Doro, whom he met in Buenos Aires. Another important poet was Lean Antonio Soto, 
who died at a young age when tortured by the police for having championed the cause of Panama. Two literary magazines focused mainly on the dissemination of the modernist movement, El Geraldo de Lisbo, directed by Guillermo Androv, and Nuvo's Writers 1907, founded by Ricardo Mir. Ricardo Mir is perhaps the most prominent poet of Panamanian modernism. His poem Patria 1909 is also famous. At this time, Gaspar Octavio Hernandez, author of Melodas del Pasada 1915 and La Copa de Amatista 1923, was also active. Other notable poets of the same generation were Mara Olimpia de Bolda and Demetrio Corsi. As we progress through this video, let's now turn our gaze towards 1930 to present. Since 1930, coinciding with the communal action Axine Communal Youth Revolution, a new generation of poets, grouped around the magazine Antina, distanced itself from modernist rhetoric, instead approaching the avant-garde. The main reference for this transformation was Regilios in Taboga, 1902 Panem, 1994, an author who had travelled in Europe and visited the Surrealists in Paris. Oda 1929 shows the influence of pure poetry, other major works by Sinan include Incendios 1944 and Semina Santa en la Niba 1949, in which dreamlike elements show his surrealist affiliation. Surrealism is also evident in the work of Ricardo J. Bambis 1914, whose most famous work is Laurel de Cenizas 1951. The work of Demetrio Herrera Sevillano is also part of this avant-garde movement. His work was greatly influenced by Ultrasmo. Another poet of this era, who was also a short story writer and journalist, was Mario Augusto Rodriguez 1917. In 1957, he published his poetry collection Canto de Amapera la Patra Novia, a critic history of the Panamanian nation. Other major poets of this era include Stella Sierra, Roque Javier Lorenza, Ophelia Hooper, Tobas des Blaytree, Tristan Soart 1934, Jose de Jess Martinez, Diana Moran 1932, Alvaro Menendez Franco 1932, Luis Carlos Jimenez Varela, Jose Guillermo Ross Zanet 1930, Jose Franco 1931, and Elsie Alvarado de Ricard. Major poets of the next generation included Benjamin Raman 1939, Bertalicia Peralta 1939, Raman Oviro, Moravia Archolpes 1941, Dimas Lidio Pitti 1941-2015, Roberto Fernandez Iglesias 1941, Eric Ars 1942, Enrique Jeremillo Leve 1944, Jarl Ricardo Babbitt 1945, Givana Benedetti 1950, Manuel Orestes Nieto 1951, Moise Pascual 1955, Hansul Otums 1957, Loncio Bando B. Lidis 1959, De La Chora 2023, Hector M. Cuado 1960, and Pablo Menicher 1960. At the end of the 20th century emerged a new generation of poets, who began to publish after 1990. Major poets of this era include Javier Romero Hernandez Chora, 1983, Sofa Santum Panam, 1982, Javier Alvarado Santiago de Vroguas, 1982, Salvador Medina Barahona Mori of Depidas, 1973, Arahaba Gomez Bocas del Toro, 1972, Elate Riola Panama, 1971, or a Benjamin Panam, 1970. Porfirio Salazar 1970, Cotia Cherry Panam 1969, and Alexander Zanches David, Shirik 1968. As we move forward, let's uncover the untold stories and fascinating intricacies of modernism and the first Panamanian books. The short story in Panama can be said to have begun formally in 1903, when Doro Herrera published the first book of stories by a Panamanian author, Horas Ligenas, in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Since this time, the short story has been the most important literary genre in Panama. Nearly all modernist and postmodernist poets in Panama published stories during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Of these, Solomon Ponce Aguilera, Guillermo Andrew, Gaspar Octavio Hernandez, 
and Ricardo Mir stem out as poets whose short stories, often scattered and unpublished, were picked up and commented on by writer Mario Augusto Rodriguez in 1956. Other important authors of this period include José Maranáez, Mois Castillo, and Gil Blas Tijera. In the upcoming portion, we'll be dissecting themes of the countryside and the canal in narrative to gain a comprehensive understanding of its implications. One notable author of the next generation was Regio Sin in 1902-1994, author of the novel Plenilineo and the collections of stories A La Orilla de los Estachos Maduras 1946, La Boina Roja y Cinco Quintos 1954, Quintos de Regio Sin in 1971, and El Canelabro de los Molos Fidios 1982. Other authors of this generation included Lucas Bersinas, Sacadinido, Renato Ozors, Alfredo Canton 1910-1967, Ricardo Bundes, Mario Augusto Rodriguez Santiago de Vriguas, 1917, author of Campo Adentro 1947, Luna en Vriguas 1948, and Los Ultrajados 1994, Jose Mar Sanchez, Ramon H. Urado. Jokin Bellio 1921, Carlos Francisco Chang Marin 1922, Jorge Turner 1922, Tristan Soart 1924 and Jose Guillermo Ross Zanet 1930. In this generation, authors cultivated nationalistic themes, either from the point of view of the cities at each end of the Panama Canal and their relation to the canal zone, or from rural point of view from the interior of the country. Get ready for an exciting exploration as we unravel the mysteries of universal themes. The next generation is that of authors born since 1932. Many of these authors are still producing literary works. Major authors of this generation include Ernesto Endara 1932, Alvaro Menendez Franco 1932, Enrique Jews 1934, Jester Roy 1936, Rosa Mara Britton 1936, Victoria Jimenez Velez 1937, Hedro Rivera 1939, Benjamin Raman 1939, Beatrice Valdes 1940, Gloria Guardia 1940, Dimas Lidio Pitti 1941, Moravia Archo Lopez 1941, Maria Hernandez, Enrique Jaramillo Levy 1944, Isabel Herrera de Taylor 1944, Rail Lays 1947, Givina Benedetti 1949, Lupita Quers Athanasiadis 1950, Ray Boran 1951, Ramon Fonseca Mora 1952, Harris Reyes, Claudio de Castro 1957, Consuotums 1957, Ewan de Hackshaw 1958, Alan Patio 1959, Rafael Alexis Alvarez 1959, Ariel Bora Alvarado 1959, Hector Cuado 1960, Gonzalo Menendez Gonzalez 1960, David Robinson Orobio 1960, Erica Harris 1963, and Regilio Guerra Evila 1963. This generation is notable for its abandonment of cryolismo as a narrative theme in favor of universal themes, and in some cases, emphasizing dream and fantasy. In this part of the video, we'll be delving deeper into 21st century narrative and analyzing its key components. Publishing for the first time in the ERS, the newest generation of Panamanian storytellers has emerged. Among these writers are Carlos Fong 1967, Carlos Oriel Winter Mello 1971, Javier Stanziola 1971, Jose Luis Rodriguez Pitt 1971, Melanie Taylor 1972, Lily Mendoza 1974, Lillian Guevara 1974, Roberto Perez Franco 1976, Gloria Melania Rodriguez 1981, and Annabel Miguelina 1984. This generation is characterized by the use of short fiction, poetic and imaginative language, and human themes, in which the individual stands out above a chaotic, typically urban environment. I love hearing from you, so leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments.